that assembly in the wilderness while they advanced on their journey the lord supplied them bread every day called it manna and that's the revelation of his song that's jesus it's just a type of you know that supply but while they were feeding on it physically it was actually a prophetic message to the fact that it's the revelation of the son of god that gives you life all right, but then the instruction was you're going to pick the supply for every day, and only for the seventh day would you pick on the sixth day, right? But some people didn't want to walk with God, you know, that step by step journey where you're trusting for every day. Some people felt like we can't bank on the supplies of God for tomorrow. So we're going to pick what we have today and take enough for tomorrow so that just in case tomorrow's supply does not show up, we would have taken enough for today and tomorrow. But what they were doing was also sending a prophetic message, was also saying something. And God had to show them, this is the significance of what you're doing in this action. You're going to be attempting to gain nourishment in a day from what was given the previous day. While Revelation is supposed to be progressive, you are attempting to stay in the last place and live off of a new place from the supplies of the last place. And that's not going to work. And to give them a graphic car picture of what that would mean, when they went back to the bread that they took from the previous day, it was worms and maggots, it was death.